Artists and social media stars often play on concert grand pianos, such as the Steinway D, Bessendorfer Imperial, Yamaha CFX, and other popular grand piano models with a size of over nine feet. The Steinway D is a legend among them. It is the ultimate in musical instruments and can be found in 80% of all concert halls worldwide. However, due to the high price of over 250,000 euros and their size, these instruments are not accessible to everyone. Sophisticated modern music with interpretations such as those presented by various artists to their audiences can often only be realized with these grand piano models. In order to enable the advanced students of the musical arts school to perform such interpretations and to be able to present themselves in social media this way, a grand piano was specially made for the musical arts school. Modular construction was used to keep the costs in the lower five-figure range. Behind the classic-looking design lies a hybrid technology of real wood grand piano action and state-of-the-art studio technology. A mechanism with free swinging hammers was chosen, as with purely acoustic grand pianos, in order to convey the greatest possible authenticity in the playing feel. Instead of striking strings, the hammer movements are measured with sensors, and the sound is generated entirely on the computer, just like in a modern recording studio. The keyboard is connected to a powerful, noiseless mini PC running the studio software. This in turn outputs the sound in the grand piano. In addition, interpretations also include special features such as fortissimo accents and staccatissimo articulation. This refers to the special change in the sound when you press a key very hard or very briefly. Another feature of this modern grand piano is recordings with the unicorder pedal. When you press the left pedal, the mechanics of a grand piano shift and only one of the three strings per key is struck. This is often used to deliberately make some elements of a song sound different, so that they are easier to identify structurally. This makes the arrangement easier to understand and provides an interesting depth and variety. Even though professional listeners do not always notice these details the first time they hear it, they are still able to indirectly tell whether it is an interpretation of a beginner or a professional. A soundboard speaker, widely used for modern electric grand pianos, serves as the sound system and body. A high-end multi-channel sound system consisting of eight drivers has been installed. This kind of quality is often only found in electric grand pianos from 40,000 euros upwards. The speakers have been specially measured and optimized using DSP technology in order to avoid interference factors and perfectly tune the sound to the room. Large acoustic grand pianos are also usually adapted to the concert hall by mechanically modifying the sounds of the individual keys accordingly. An ambisonics process is used to achieve the greatest possible realism. This makes it possible to create a three-dimensional sound field. This means that each key of the original concert grand piano, such as the Steinway D, is recorded in the studio with several microphones at different positions in the grand piano body and can then be reproduced at exactly the same position when the key is struck on the electronic grand piano. Nowadays, it is common practice to record instruments in legendary concert halls or studios, such as Abbey Road Studios. When recording the keys, additional microphones are set up at various positions in the room to capture the room acoustics. At musical arts school, these are output via surround speakers in the room. By switching on these speakers, the impression is created that the grand piano is actually being played in one of the large halls. The recording methods used by the manufacturers of this studio software are high-tech and very sophisticated. It was important to find a sound generation system that emphasized the greatest possible realism. Out of just over 50 software products tested, only a handful to the shortlist. All software packages could be calibrated with a wide dynamic range. For this purpose, 
A special measuring method was used to map the volume of the keystrokes to the keyboard, just like on the original grand pianos. However, fortissimo accents, staccatissimo articulations, and recordings with the unicorda pedal forementioned were often missing, as not all software products included separate recordings for these cases. The vibration of the strings on the large concert grand pianos can also be felt when the keys are touched. This effect is simulated by several resonant speakers connected to the body. When the keys are struck, corresponding frequencies are emitted via these speakers. Using a specific algorithm, they cause the body to vibrate in such a way that the timing and intensity match the sound. If you would like to know which components have all been tested, you can find a list in the comments.